welcome back to season two of our 2020 show. I guess it's now a 2021 show. Uh, we're beginning a new series elaborating on the navigator's calling and core values that uh, give that calling definition and direction. You might ask why we're talking uh, about uh, understanding our calling and core values and why that's important. Well, it's important because it enables us to stay on track to do what is most essential in a world that we have limited time and resources and there are a plethora of very good options and things to take up our focus and time. Uh, also knowing the values that underpin our calling informs us not just what we are to do, but uh, what importantly what we are to be. We want to be engaged in doing things that flow out of who we are. In this particular session, we're going to focus on the calling statement. Uh, the calling statement of the navigators is to advance the gospel of Jesus and his kingdom into the nations through spiritual generations of laborers living and discipling among all people, or in some instances it talks about among the lost. Let's begin with the word advance. Why have we chosen that word advance? Well, I think it's meant to reflect the reality of two different kingdoms that are in our world. Satan, the rebel and prince of the power of the air, according to 1 John 1.19, has the whole world under his control. Of course, the other kingdom that we're focused on is the kingdom of God. And this belongs to Jesus. Now, between these two kingdoms, there is a spiritual war. Uh, we, uh, we end up being engaged in that spiritual war in the sense that Jesus commissions us to work with him in reclaiming, rescuing people from that other kingdom back into his kingdom. The rebel prince Satan uh, is the one that we want people to be freed from. Now, one of the key ways in which we do this in advancing the gospel or good news of Jesus is that uh, we, we basically, in a sense, make a foray into enemy territory. And of course, it's very important to be thinking, yes, to make that foray, it's very, very helpful to have something that's good news for people. So how is that good news? Firstly, Romans 5, 1 and 2 says that since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. In short, Jesus has paid for our sins to enable us to be restored relationally to God and brought into his kingdom. And this is a gift that cannot be earned in any way and it's received by faith. So we need to help people understand what Jesus has done, but also how to receive this gift. Secondly, in John 8, 31, 32, Jesus said, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. But freed from what? Well, goes on in John 8, and says, freed from slavery to sin. God, Jesus, wants us to be freed from self-centered living, which is often destructive, and, and then transforms us by his spirit to demonstrate a whole different set of values, a whole different set of qualities that are centered on the Holy Spirit. We call this the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. What great qualities. Jesus enables us to grow to become more and more like him in character as we exhibit the fruit of the Spirit. And this is not just great news for us in our lives, it's great news also for the world around us. The phrase, into the nations, which comes next, 
This reflects God's love and concern for all peoples of, of the earth. All, and by all peoples, we're also talking about people groups. It's not just countries we're talking about, it's groupings of people, tribes in a sense. We are called to take the good news to the ends of the earth and not just to our families, to our neighbors, to our friends, uh, to our co-workers and associates, not just the people that we like or like us. Well, how do we do this? Well, the navigators do it through spiritual generations of laborers. We focus on raising up people who will be equipped in vision, in heart, and in skill to repeat the process with another generation, their generation. And that that generation that's impacted would catch the vision, the skill, and the heart to do exactly the same. The key in this is laborers. A laborer is a worker. A person, no matter what their vocation, no matter what they're engaged in, they are available to Jesus to represent him by their words and by their deeds. And in that, to help others to discover the good news. And then to live their lives grounded on that good news. We don't want people just to know about that good news. We want that good news to impact their lives as they come under the authority of Jesus and his spirit. Paul in 2 Timothy puts this very well. He says, And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. This is a key part of this being moving on to the next generation. Now, a key part of doing that uh, passing on is the idea of modeling. We need uh, teaching also, not just in word, but also through life modeling for people to see what does it mean to love and follow Jesus. So therefore, as we look back to the calling, it's essential that we live among people, both people who uh, have yet to receive the gospel, who don't know who Jesus is, or people who are in the process of figuring out, as well as people who are already on the road to uh, to living a life focused on Jesus. They also can be helped to be growing to maturity. As Paul says again in Philippians, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. So to accomplish uh, what God has called us to do, we have to be with people. Now, hopefully these thoughts add a little bit of depth to the calling statement itself and uh, will help you as you consider what does it mean to live out the calling of the navigators. Stay tuned for future episodes. Uh, we're going to be developing our core values. In a certain way, they will be valuable sessions to be engaged in. Thanks for coming by.